Let's pick up where we left off here. We verified that the uh, secondary of T4, that second IF uh, transformer, was good. Let's repeat the uh, same process here for uh, T4, the uh, primary side here on this left side. You can see the top side of the uh, transformer ties back in to uh, pin number three, which is the plate on the 6K7. We'll hook up one lead there to uh, pin number three. And if you follow this back down and across, you'll see that it uh, connects itself back down to uh, pin number two. Or I can go back up to uh, pin number four here on the 6F6. Uh, we'll just use uh, two on the uh, rectifier tube and make certain that we've got close to our 25 ohms of DC resistance as noted here on the schematic. Uh, if everything tests good there, uh, we'll jump right into the power transformer here do some uh, basic testing of it and if time permits we'll check uh, the output side here of the uh, choke or the fill coil where it ties in and uh, take a look at the voltage divider or better known here is the uh, candome resistor. We know that T4 resides on the top side of the chassis at this point and uh, we already said this was our secondary windings, primary windings and uh, with this particular chassis being so wide open here, you can see how easy it is to identify our connection point, pin number three, that being the plate of the 6K7. So we'll attach one lead here, and then the uh, rectifier tube is right back over here, and we said we would go back over to uh, pin number two, which is located here. All right, let's uh, get connected here where we talked about pin number three. And uh, pin number two here. Flip the meter on and see if we've got our uh, number we're looking for. And uh, you guys can hopefully see this beautiful uh, sunshine coming through the windows here on a cool day, but uh, right at 24 ohms. So uh, we're good there. So we'll cross off T4, at least from a DC resistance check, but uh, everything's good. Let's uh, look at the uh, power transformer now. Let's go ahead and get started here on the uh, power transformer. Here's our uh, input AC line voltage, and you can see back in the day it was called out at 115, uh, which is uh, less than what you would see in the modern day voltages. One side goes through a switch, so we'll look at that. That's our own off switch here, noted as S2, and then we've just got the primary winding. Then we'll focus here on the secondary side and uh, you can see that we have uh, three separate windings with the uh, one winding having the center tap location. And of course this one side here being grounded. But uh, let's hook up here real quick on the uh, primary side, see what we've got. This should be uh, easy to identify. You can see our old line cord here that's showing up here at the very bottom of the video. It's the one I cut off. Here comes our uh, AC line in. Uh, very nice and neat here. It's uh, routed over to an old terminal strip here. And uh, one of these will be our switch location. And if you look very, very close, it looks like this side ties directly into the primary. And the other side here is the one that routes back over, if I can get this out of the way, routes over to the switch itself. So um, let's just hook up here at these two points, uh, see what we have. I can't recall what position the switch is in, but uh, we'll flip it on and off and uh, see what uh, it does for our DC resistance measurements real quick. All right, let me see if I can get these uh, leads to stay on here. If not, we'll pull out some old jumpers. Okay, it's showing uh, open at this point, and that's probably because my switch is turned off. Uh, that thing is uh, stiff as can be. And it looks like we're kind of all over the place as far as the uh, DC resistance measurements. Now it's settled down. So, you know, the switch itself may just be dirty.
Let me uh, throw a knob on here real quick so we can rotate this back and forth and uh, make certain that our DC resistance is, uh, settles in and we don't have an intermittent issue. All right, for this exercise, I just threw on an old uh, plastic knob. You guys can see me or hear me rotating the uh, switch here. The switch itself is uh, not tightened well to the uh, chassis, so you might be able to see it. It's wanting to uh, move just a bit. Let's leave it there just for a moment. And I think you can see the uh, problem we have there with the uh, on-off switch. Now again, we may be able to fix that. We'll try cleaning that when we get to that point. Um, if not, then I'll uh, need to look for a uh, replacement. Let's bypass the uh, switch itself and see if we can just get the uh, DC resistance measurements to settle down, which they are right now, and uh, see if it closely mirrors what we see here on the meter which is in line with what I would expect to see. You know, somewhere typically, you know, from 1 to 15 ohms, depending on the uh, transformer itself. So we know this side goes back to the switch itself. Let's go to the switch. Okay, just wanted to make certain that I was on the correct side of the switch. So now we're really bypassing the switch. And uh, we're still, of course, looping back around through the uh, wiring itself. But you can see our DC resistance measurements uh, are settled in at 13 ohms. Um, so that's a good sign. I'll just make a note about the uh, on-off switch. You know, we'll, we'll definitely try to clean it and then uh, we'll move forward with a uh, replacement. Again, assuming the uh, secondaries of the uh, transformer are in good shape. At least the uh, primary looks healthy at this point. We'll just start here on the uh, bottom side of the schematic itself. You can see uh, how simple this particular winding is on the secondary side. Uh, it's just feeding the uh, heaters themselves for the tubes. So for these particular tubes, uh, I think all of them are pins 2 and 7. So uh, we'll just use a uh, couple tube locations and uh, check our DC resistance there. Uh, typically, you would find this winding, you know, a couple ohms, uh, maybe th 1 to 3 ohms or so. And I've actually seen it less than that, down to a, uh, 0.5. So uh, this is the location again that I'm talking about, ground, feeding the heaters as well as the uh, pilot lamp. Okay, let me just uh, pick a tube here. Let's uh, start here. I'll go over to uh, pin 2 and then uh, pin 7. All these are tied together. I'll just tie in right here, see what we have. Make sure I've got a good connection here. And you can see I'm um, about 3.8 ohms. So uh, let's pick on another tube here. And we'll do the same exercise. So we'll use this tube um, here and see what we've got. We get here to uh, pin 7, which is our uh, ground location. And then if we go back to uh, pin number 2 here. And you can see our DC resistance is the same. So uh, let me just make a note of that. We'll call it uh, 3.5 ohms. All right, let's go ahead and check this uh, second winding here on the secondary side. And it's this section right here. And uh, if you follow it back around, you'll see it ties to uh, pin number 8 on the 5Y3. And the other side attaches to uh, pin number 2. Uh, those two locations are the uh, filament locations for the uh, 5Y3. So that will be our connection points. Let's see what we have there. You grab the meter here and we'll get it hooked up. We said pins 2 and 8. A lot of uh, oxidation here on the uh, terminals, so I need to be cautious here and just make sure I'm getting a, a good connection here. All 
All right, I think we're going to be in good shape there as well. I had uh, alluded to, you'll see some extremely low DC resistance measurements here on some of the secondaries until we get to the uh, larger secondary that has the center tap. You're going to see an increase in DC resistance there. But uh, you can see this is around uh, 0.1 ohm, so um, I'm not shocked by that number. Um, at least we're not open. That's a good sign. So uh, let's move along now to the uh, next secondary. We've worked our way up here to the uh, final winding. We'll focus on this part of the secondary here. And if you follow the top side here back down, you can see it connects uh, back to uh, point number four. And same thing here, point number six. If the tube were in the socket, that would be the uh, plate locations for the uh, 5Y3, 4 and 6. So we'll check there. You'll notice that this particular winding, there's a center tap. This will be your most negative point in the radio. And of course, this will be your highest point in the radio across the uh, filaments. We'll check DC resistance here. This will be a higher number, of course. And then we'll reference back to the center tap, and it should be approximately one half of what we see across uh, pins four and six. Let me get the meter hooked up and uh, get those readings, and then uh, we'll break over and uh, find the connection point here for the center tap. Okay, let's get the uh, meter hooked up here, and uh, we'll turn it on. I'm back on the uh, rectifier tube here. And uh, this uh, tube is marked as well. So we said we wanted to go between the uh, plates, which are uh, four and six. Uh, that's pin number two. Three would be here. Of course, it's not used. Uh, pin number four is here. There's no uh, pin number five. Pin number six is here. So see if I can get that on. All right, I'm going to just hold it on there. So get a good connection here. Flip the meter on, and uh, let's see what we've got. All right, I think we've got our first uh, failure point. Let me just uh, switch leads here and make certain I'm getting a good connection. All right, that's not a good sign. This may have been uh, what took the uh, radio out of service, the uh, power transformer. Here you can see uh, this particular uh, transformer appears to be open, that uh, top section. Let's see if we can identify the uh, center tap and uh, see what we have there back to uh, either one of these points. All right, just looking at the uh, transformer, see if I can move this capacitor out of the way. This is our uh, speaker plug up here at the top, so this goes back to the uh, fuel coil. And I'll need to grab the uh, schematic here, bring it back up here so you guys can reference it. We already said we're open here between uh, 4 and 6. I may just have a cold solder joint, so we'll reflow the uh, solder, make sure, and then uh, we'll do some uh, deeper analysis as well and get the transformer out of the chassis if needed. Here's that center tap. You can see it goes back over to uh, the speaker plug itself, you know, which attaches to the uh, fuel coil inside the uh, speaker itself. And just looking at this, there's only one lead coming back this direction. We've already looked. We know our primary is here. One side here, the other side going up to the switch, looping back to the line cord. And uh, we already know our other secondaries here for the uh, heater themselves for the uh, tube um, ties back here as well. So uh, this should be our center tap lead at this point here. So uh, we'll just leave the uh, meter attached there. Let me see if I can get in here. All right, that shows open there. If I've got a good connection, let's go back to uh, pin number 
six here and uh, you can see we've got continuity so uh, just one side of the uh, transformer appears to be open looks like we're uh, dead in the water at this location and uh, we're good here back to the center tap you can see it around uh, 450 ohms or so let me uh, heat up the solder and iron I'm going to just reflow the solder here real quick and uh, just see if there's any change whatsoever and uh, try to get down in here and inspect the uh, wiring coming from the uh, transformer itself just to see if I see anything that's uh, burnt through or uh, cut in this area let me get this old uh, line cord out of the way. Okay, seems to be uh, nice and solid uh, connections here. I don't see anything burn into or cut or anything and it's these two leads uh, right here if I don't have my uh, hand in the way if that's uh, showing up let me uh, reflow the uh, solder here at these locations and uh, just see if we have any difference whatsoever All right, let me get my uh, alcohol in here and just clean these uh, real quick I just want to uh, reflow this just to see if we have any difference whatsoever. All right, we'll flip the uh, meter back on here, and I think it was this side here that was uh, open. And you can see I'm attached here to the uh, center tap, so indeed. It appears to be uh, open. And uh, we're still showing open. All right, let me get the transformer out. We'll open it up and see if we can find anything uh, obvious that we can repair. And you always got to have a backup plan if you want to go forward with the restoration. So uh, we'll um, talk about next steps here in the next video.